All right, you guys, today I'm doing a vlog video. I'm gonna show you the new car that I just purchased. So we're gonna walk out of here, take a look at it, and bam, here she is, my brand new Nissan Versa. <laughs> just kidding. Actually, here, I'll show you the real new car. It is a 2019 Dodge Challenger SXT. Definitely a beauty to look at. It's got all kinds of cool little gadgets in the interior with all the touchscreen uh, stuff and all that. I'll show you more of the front here. It's just sitting under the carport. And just look how mean that front looks. It's like mean but sophisticated at the same time. The reason I uh, wanted to challenge it, well, so uh, a couple week or so ago, uh, we went down to the beach, went to Emerald Isle for a uh, vacation, and I rented a Challenger to go down there in, and uh, the one I rented had a V8 in it, it had a Hemi engine, um, and uh, I just, I fell in love, so I was like, man, I, I need to try to give me one, and sure enough, I did, and this one has a V6 in it, so not quite as powerful as a V8, but definitely still got some power to it for sure. And one thing I really dig about the Challengers is that it's got that vintage -y type of vibe to it. Like I really love like a 69 Camaro and 69 Mustang and stuff like that. And I think this car kind of um, kind of captures that pretty well. I'll show you the back here. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely in love. For sure. Um, let me go get the keys here and I'll uh, kind of give you a scope of the interior. So this has got the uh, push to start uh, mechanism inside, so it doesn't have an actual key. So this is the fob that they call. So I'm going to... Wait, hang on. Let's do that again. The lights. They look so cool. All right. Let's take a look. Let's take a look inside here. Make sure... Or doesn't hit the pole. That's a weird. The thing I don't like about this carport here—it's got a pole right in the middle, like this, to separate both of your cars. But you know, sometimes you might accidentally hit that pole, and that's not cool. But anyways, here is the interior. It's gotten a little dirty. I've had it a few days. And there's some little grass and stuff on the bottom, but that's all right. It can be cleaned. Here's the steering wheel. It's got all kinds of controls on it. Um, got the the. Uh, speedometer and all that there on the top uh, then a kind of pretty spacious big dash up there um, let me get in here for a second oh. all right so sitting here here's the, uh, the touch screen um, and kind of start it so here's the push to start You can see it's got uh, the local rock station playing, but got all kinds of cool uh, little features here. You can media for like your phone, uh, focus camera. So media for like your phone and um, then like you got climate control, you got the apps, uh, phone for like if you want to make phone calls in the car, you can do that through the car. You have a compass to tell you what direction you're going and the settings to uh, do, you know, kind of configure everything. Uh, Got a uh, automatic transmission here. Um, it's got a what's called, I think, a slap uh, stick on it. So, like, if you take your tin drive, you move it to M, you slap it, like, kind of like that or something, and it. So you go. It's, it's almost like driving a, a manual, but without like a clutch, I guess. And this is the interior. Um, it's got this. The seats are kind of made from this kind of this like clothy material, um, and then it's a two door. So. To get in the back, here's my disc from playing disc golf. Uh, get in the back, you know, you have to um, push the seats forward and um, and get in that way. But it's actually a little bit more spacious uh, than it seems um, in the back, but it's still pretty cool. Um, so let's take a let's take a look at the trunk like right quick. All right, so this trunk it may look a little small at first, but if you look inside. Uh, get it open here it's actually pretty spacious I mean you can put that was that was kind of a, a one little concern was practicality purposes for like gigs and stuff like that um, and I, I'll probably do some gigging in this I still might do 
you know, a bit of it at the, in the Versa there, but um, you can definitely put your amp in here. If you have a cab, you can put a, a 212 in here. You could probably fit a 412 in here, but you could, well, you could definitely fit the 412 if you lay your seats down there. You could fit a 412 and a head and uh, gear bag, guitars, um, at least two or three guitars, whatever, whatever your uh, gig is needing. Um, so, yeah, definitely, definitely a spacious, uh, spacious little trunk there. So, right quick before the before I finish off the vlog here, I kind of set the camera down on the picnic table and uh, rev it up a little bit so you can see how, sort of see how the engine sounds. Of course, it sounds better just in person with your own ears. So yeah, maybe not quite as powerful as a V8, but it definitely uh, has enough power for sure um, to, uh, to definitely, you know, if you're wanting to do a little speeding on the road or whatever, you know, I, it would uh, get the job done. I do not advocate for that, uh, obviously, but um, definitely a beautiful car, though. I'm definitely, uh, definitely in love with this thing, and uh, I hope to have it for, for many, many, many years. So um, thank you guys for checking this out. Um, I'll uh, leave some more information down in the description. Um, but thank you guys for checking out this vlog. Uh, you know this isn't a music post like usual but you know sometimes i like to take a break from that and do some random stuff but obviously the music content will be returning and uh sorry i haven't made a video in a couple weeks or so i've just you know went to the beach and then i've been like learning songs for for bands and students and stuff like that so um but the new, more content is coming soon so just stay tuned thank you guys for checking this out please be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you at the next video take care